So it's Wednesday afternoon then, yours truly Raj Balin here on Dry Time. Time now for a very special moment. Now I've been trying to bring this superstar of television, of Indian television, on my show for the past one year. Finally, I've got him. Yep, I'm talking about the TV star turned host, turned film star. Yep, I've got Karan Wahi here on Dry Time. Hey Raj, how are you? I'm really, really good. How's it going? You're right. It's going great, man. It's going really great. <laughs> and I'm so sorry to come after so long on your thing. Gordon, you know what it is? I'm uh, constantly pestering you on WhatsApp, uh, asking you for an interview. And I feel a bit of a dummy as well, thinking, oh, man, I is he going to respond? Is he not? <laughs> no, no. I, every time I have time, you know, I try to message you and something or the other comes up. And I'm such a lazy ass that <laughs> somehow or the other I've missed you. No, no, no. But I'm glad uh, today I'm the special one. Well, I'm the lucky one to have you here on Drive Time. No, no, I'm lucky, man. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about Nach Balier. Now, Nach Balier, obviously, it's coming to an end, uh, the series. It's been one of the most successful series, I think, the way it's been handled. And uh, two weeks' time, we're going to see the finale of it. How do you think it's been for you? I think it's been great, yeah. It's, it's uh, something that got me into anchoring. So Nach Balier is always going to be really, really special to me. Because uh, before Nach Balier, I never anchored like a proper show. I I'd done a few uh, award functions where I was doing anchoring the red carpet or something like that. So I think Najbali is really really special, and uh, this is my second season of Najbali and the sixth season of Najbali itself. So I, I think it's been really special. It's been fun. Uh, I have a lot of friends uh, who've been contestants, uh, so it's even more fun. And uh, I think over the last two years uh, we've gelled up as a team, especially the three judges and the two anchors and the production house because we are the constant thing on the show so it's been fun and uh, well received uh, what do you think it's so successful i mean the the formula of the show has been what quite simple but um, it's uh, struck a chord with the viewers quite well what do you think it is <clears throat> i think uh, natibali has its own niche and uh, i think the the one thing that i think the viewers probably uh, love about it especially the audience outside india i think is the is the love quotient to the love tangent that we we struck because natbali uh, definitely believes in one thing you know it's about the couples so we make sure that you know the show is as much as, as about the couples uh, as we can do it because uh, yes there's a lot of humor yes there's a lot of fun a lot of uh, you know uh, like we say no joke on the show but the basis of the show is love and the basis of the show is the couples other couples so i think that's what i think has struck with the the audiences uh, because there are a lot of reality shows out there and i think all of the all the reality shows that are on here have their own market have their own reach have their own niche and i think najbali has just got into that love circuit and i think that's what has been well received mm-hmm. so with two weeks to go um have you inside got a feeling as to who the winner is going to be see i've had a very strong feeling since the first episode itself of the few people who i feel are going to be winners but i really don't want to say their names because it's not right on my part because i have a lot of friends out there and i don't want to get abused by the fans okay <laughs> <laughs> right current okay formalities out of the way um there are lots of questions i'm sure you've been getting a lot of alerts on your phone a lot of notifications uh, with tweets and also facebook messages as well um yeah. so let's go to some of those questions there's a question first uh, from Jasia and Jasia wants to know do you remember any of your uh, fans on twitter uh, that tweet you on a regular basis i think i remember most of them yeah, because what happens is uh, uh, yes uh, firstly i'll have to tell everyone that it's me every on every possible social networking site replying to everyone it's not not it's not my manager it's no one else but me so that's why at times it, at times it gets really difficult for me to reply to a lot of them i to make sure as many times or as many messages i can reply to but yeah there are a lot of fans that i actually remember because what happens is there are certain fans who keep messaging you each and every time you post something mm-hmm. so uh, in the back of your head i think you still remember uh, yes yeah that i've spoken to them earlier on twitter or on facebook or something like that and uh, i really wanted to you know uh, come here and tell to all the fans especially people staying in uk uh because they keep messaging me on all all the social networking sites and asking me is it the real me is it the real me mm-hmm. is it the real me so it's quite, I, there's no imposter messaging it is quite it is quite difficult to be um handling what 90000 followers that you've got 
Yeah, but it's fun. You know, <laughs> it's it's fun because I think the this is what I became an actor for. This is what I am working for. The love and the support and yeah. the unconditional uh, trust that these people have in me um, just uh, makes you uh, go, you know, higher and higher, and this makes you work hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a question also. Uh, she wants to know, uh, just here, uh, how often do you talk to Karan Singh Grover? How often do I? You know, it's really uh, Karan's a really really close friend. Uh, but I uh, I keep telling him also whenever we meet that you know I hate one thing about him that he vanishes. Uh, he disappears <laughs> completely. Like uh, I don't talk to him that much, but uh, uh, because I think because of our erratic hours, he's working and I'm working and we don't stay nearby. Uh, but whenever we meet or whenever we happen to bump into each other, I think we start from where we ended. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is not at all a phone person. He is not at all a phone person. So it, it gets really difficult to mm-hmm. be in touch with him on phone. But yeah, uh, we do meet uh, once in a blue moon. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Andrea uh, wants to know what your favorite color is. Andrea, my favorite color. Okay, it might, it, it might just sound really weird. My favorite color is green. Green? Uh, it's not yeah. weird. It's not weird at all. I think uh, green was also my favorite color as well at one time. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, have this thing about you know white and black and red and blue. Uh-huh. <laughs> then suddenly a green pops out. Acha. Uh, there's a question also here from Akanshi uh, Gaju. Now she wants to know. Uh, please can you ask uh, Karan if it's true that you'll be hosting Indian Idol Junior season two. Uh, I have no idea. You know, I I read this on Twitter that you know uh, I signed Indian Idol Junior uh, two. I have actually not even spoken to, or Sony hasn't even spoken to me, and I have no idea what I'll be doing. Like I've always said, uh, I have no idea about what I'll be doing next because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing right now. Um, and um, I would love to be a part of that show because uh, that's another insane show that I did, full of fun. Uh, so let's see, um, because there are a lot of other things also happening in life. Mm-hmm. So I hope I I can do it, and I hope Indian Idol Junior Two is coming because I have no idea. Tika, uh, there's another question she's asking as well to do with your Bollywood projects. Now she's saying, because uh, you're in Bollywood, um, will you be taking a step back from television? Uh, see, I've, I've, I've anyway, anyways not been doing fiction for the last two years. My last fiction show was Kuch Slow Penge. Mm-hmm. And after that, I did Jhalak, I did Nach I did Indian Idol again, Jhalak, and again Nach So I haven't been taking fiction anyways. Uh, not because I didn't want to, <clears throat> but because I think uh, I've always done something that I've really loved. And um, uh, there's, there's nothing that came my way that I, I was really excited about. Uh, and now that I'm doing uh, films, uh, it's not that I, I won't do TV because uh, I don't want to. But obviously if I'm doing films, I'm, I'm concentrating on films and I'm shooting for the film. So there are certain legalities and the, you know uh, legal process that we go through because obviously my filmmakers also would not want me to do five things at a time mm-hmm. uh, because of the time constraint and other things. So I'm concentrating on the films right now, and if tomorrow something really nice comes up on TV or or on fil- in films, why not? Yeah. Mm. Karan, by the way, there's been a lot of stories about uh, you signing a new deal with UTV, a three film deal. Uh, all these rumors. I mean, can you clarify any of it? I, you know, I read all that, you know, the three film deal with Yashraj and UTV, yeah. and I was, uh, I was actually surprised that, you know, uh, somehow, uh, how people suddenly start talking about certain things. I don't want to say anything, because uh, till the time I am, I am not signed anything. I don't want to quote on anything because uh, a lot of people might uh, say, no, we know you're doing this or you're doing that, but I don't want to say anything on that front line because. When I'm allowed to say what I'm doing, uh, I'll definitely come out and tell everybody because I think uh, uh, my fans deserve it. But I think when the time is right, that's why I've never quoted anything for the last five days of people going berserk on Twitter about yeah. the films that I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, uh, every kind of article you turn to at the moment is to do with uh, your three-film deal with UTV. Uh, so that's why I thought let's get some confirmation from the man himself. But uh, uh, you're not in the position to say anything at the moment, are you? I don't know. Like you know, I don't want to say anything about the UTV or the Yashraj or any yeah. of the films that have been you know talk. You know, the people are talking about because uh, I haven't signed anything right now. Deep. So uh, whatever it is or whatever I'm in talks for. Uh, let me just do it and I'll probably, you know, come out in the open myself. But we could talk about Dawat Dawa the Ishq. Uh, obviously, that's your yeah. first f- film that's coming out. Is it in May? Is it coming out? Dawat the Ishq, yeah. Dawat the Ishq is coming in May, yeah. uh, tentatively. 
Oh, uh, it's 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 superb to work with uh, the best people out there. You know, Parinthi, Aditya, and Anupam sir, and obviously our director Habib ji. So and um, so it's it, it's been a really good good experience. I'm still shooting for Davate, so it's fun. Uh, it's fun to be uh, entering Bollywood with Yashraj. I think uh, doesn't get better than that. It's a very sweet and nice uh, film. So I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Brilliant. Uh, Nisha uh, wants to know what are the qualities that you have um, when it comes to looking for your ideal woman. What kind of um, characters should that woman have? I wish I had uh, known uh, the qualities. I would have found one by now. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't. I don't have these, you know, set patterns that you know the girl has to be like this, the girl has to be like that. I think all every all uh, I think <clears throat> I would need is. Probably is companionship and somebody who can understand me because I'm a really hard person to understand. Mm -hmm. I'm like really confusing. Acha, kyu? I am. I have no idea. I am just. I think I'm. That's. I think that's the traits when you that you get uh, being a Gemini. Ah. You're like just. You just want to do like everything at one time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nisha also wants to know who is your best buddy in the film uh, in the uh, industry in the TV industry. Uh, there are a lot, lot of them. Yeah, there are a lot of them because uh, I'm like I think uh, you know they call me. Uh, uh, my friends uh, taunt me at times uh, when they get to know that I don't know somebody, and they're like, "How come you don't know this guy, or how come you don't know this person?" It's not possible, you know, because um, I'm, I think I'm, I'm way too friendly. I'm over friendly at times, but there are people that I'm really close to. There's Gurmeet, there's Ritwik, obviously. Uh, we're very close, uh, especially the three of us. Um, there's uh, my old friend Raj, who I uh, started working in remix. And there are a lot of them. I think uh, most of them are very good friends. But I think as of right now, uh, I'm really close to Gurmeet and Ritwik because uh, we've done two shows together. And, uh, you know, we hang out a lot. We talk a lot uh, on the phone. Uh, and, you know, we we share a lot of uh, fun moments together. So I think that's why, uh, you know, that bond's really strong. Mm -hmm. Karan, I'm talking to Ritwik in the next hour of the show, by the way. Uh, so is there anything you, that you want me to say to him? Uh, just tell him that uh, yesterday, uh, the way he uh, dropped me, uh, thanks to him, I have had a really, really bad back pain uh, <laughs> since last night. And I'm going to take money for all the x-rays that I've got done. <laughs> I'll certainly pass the message on to him. No, it's really true. It's true. He, 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 he just dropped me last you know, last evening on the, sh on the set. Oh, no. Yeah. He just dropped you like a little butcher. He, uh, you, when, once you see the show, you'll realize what he's done to me. All right, we'll see. Uh, but I'll <laughs> definitely pass the message on to him. I'll ask him about the expenses for the x-rays as well. Uh, by yeah. the way, um, she wants to know also about any marriage plans. Any marriage plans that you've got in the future? And any what? Marriage. Biaki. See, that, that, that's what she, uh, I, uh, the marriage word doesn't even reach my ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no plans, yeah. no plans, because I think right now I'm just concentrating on work, and if it has to happen, it'll happen, yeah, because I don't, I, I really don't uh, uh, think about it uh, too much. Uh, in, as of right now, all I just want to think about is my work, and probably, you know, uh, that one special person, uh, whoever it will be. Uh, so let's see, you know, one, one thing at a time. But Karin, uh, with your 90,000 followers on Twitter, uh, the craze that you have got, uh, I'm yeah. sure it's not going to be that difficult for you to find someone, is it? <laughs> yeah, you know, what happens is, I, I feel when the, the options are way more, you get more confused. So that's the biggest excuse I give to all my friends. Because, um, you know, when I sit with Ritwik and Gurmeet especially, <clears throat> uh, sometimes they make me feel as if uh, I'm the biggest loser on the planet <laughs> who doesn't have anyone. But I think it's just, I'm happy being with my friends because I think all my life I've been around with so many friends that uh, the sense of loneliness doesn't creep up. Uh, I'm happy when my friends are happy. And uh, I think uh, when I look at them, like when I see a Gurmeet and Devina happily married, it, it really feels nice. It really feels really, really nice to see a couple who loves each other so much. When I see a Gurme uh, Ritwik and an Asha uh, being in love and fighting but still being in love, that's another side of love, which uh, it's so sweet to see. So I think my uh, pet grows. Okay, uh, Mehz Zaveen wants to know, um, as a host of many reality TV shows, uh, yeah. you have met a lot of Bollywood celebrities, but which, imp which one has impressed you the most? 
which one has impressed me? I think uh, a lot of them. Uh, I had a dream of meeting uh, S R K Sharuk, and uh, I think he made me feel really, really special because we had a lot of fun. But I think the one man that uh, that I think has stood apart is Salman Khan. I think uh, Salman sir is, I think, one of the most funniest and one of the most craziest uh, actors or human being that we've come across because he's he's a gem of a person. He'll he'll go berserk like he's so unpredictable about certain things that uh, uh, you just you just have that sense of joy when he's around so I think uh, there's a lot to learn from these two people because where they are uh, everyone wants to be and to be like what they are uh, I think uh, it's a very big thing Um, has been also saying uh, you haven't done a full-fledged role uh, after DMG uh, is that by choice or due to circumstances I think after DMG, uh, there was a there were a couple of shows that I was about to do which uh, never happened, unfortunately. <clears throat> and then uh, and then I've been just you know doing reality shows and I was really happy and I've always said I will only do something that makes me happy. I don't want to get up in the morning and think about a poor day. I want to get up in the morning and say, wow, I need to go to work. So I think uh, reality shows kept me busy and um, it just gave me an identity which I loved because. Uh, for a television actor to be known by his name i think is the biggest biggest thing possible because in an era where people only know us by our screen name um uh, i'm happy and i'm proud of the fact that people now know me by my name and there was a sense of achievement that i you know had so i was loving the entire fact of anchoring shows being myself uh, uh showing the world uh how i am expressing myself because it was just me on stage so every time i go on stage it might be televised shows or it might be events that i do all over the country all over the world uh it's just me it's uh me interacting with everybody uh you love me you hate me uh it's up to you but it will be just me Okay. Uh Karan, I know you haven't got much time, but we're going to quickly breeze through the next few questions, right? Um yeah. uh there's a question also from Mehzabeen who's saying another you entering Bollywood, um what matters to you most, uh, the uh script or the banner of the film? I think it's a uh, uh, it'll definitely be a combination because today obviously script, you know, good script does matter. Uh uh because uh, until unless you don't like a script, you wouldn't want to do something uh, just for the heck of it. uh the banners do matter too because uh uh in today's time you know when you work with a known banner when you work with people who know their craft more i think uh it it is always easier and helpful for an actor mm-hmm. uh because obviously a good banner or a big banner wouldn't want, want wouldn't want uh you to do something which is uh below average mm-hmm. or even average mm-hmm. so i think it's a combination of both uh it's the choice that you make i guess theek hai uh, harman kaur wants to know um who is your idol and why uh in the industry yeah in the industry yeah. um you know i've always said uh, uh shahrukh khan because you know all of us uh, as young kids when we watched shahrukh uh we wanted to be like him and uh, we wanted to be like a man who just come from delhi had no background to the industry and made it so big uh but i think over the years i've realized uh, each and every person i've met in my life uh, has uh, some way or the other uh, had an effect on you know had an effect on me uh, it might be uh, for their the, you know the way they are the gratitude the sense of uh, pride they take for their work uh, the sense of belonging they have for their work or uh, the way they are with their fans so i think it's it's, it's uh, there've been a lot of people who've inculcated a lot of things within me and uh, over the years i've just learned how to receive and uh, inculcate a lot of positive things that people impart you know so i think there's something from each one of them that i've actually you know uh-huh. had a talk with uh thusi uh, wants to know uh, can you rate the following in terms of fittest bodies uh, one out of yeah. 10 right uh, so one out of 10 for gotham 10 being obviously the fittest body I think he's he's in eleven. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> he's he's bizarre. He's, I think uh, he should be. Uh, he should not even come in contest. You know, take part in this contest. Ah, uh, Gurmeet. Gurmeet uh, is 
definitely a eight and a half nine. Why? Because you know he's very fit. Otherwise, like he might not have like the perfect eight packs or the six packs, but uh, I think he's very physic. He's physically very fit. Like he, the things that he can do, he's very flexible and all. Most of us are, can't. Mm. Uh, Ritvik. Ritvik is also a seven and a half eight. I think. Uh, Terence. Terence is another ten man. He's gone berserk. I think Terence sir is mad. And rate yourself as well. I think now in today's time, I think I've become like a six. Six? I I, I genuinely feel I'm a six. No. I was I think I <laughs> I was uh, somewhere uh, uh, somewhere around a nine out of ten at one point in time. But because there are certain things that I've been doing, um, if you see my appearance, uh, I'll look a six to you. uh but um, to me fitness is all about how how you are also like you know fitness is just not about how your body looks but how physically fit you feel mm. um when you talk about that i might be you know a 10 on 10 but um, if you compare it to the way i look uh because the six packs have technically almost gone mm. i'm doing it for some work <laughs> so so i'll rate myself as a 6 as, as of right now uh karen okay let's uh, stick to a few words uh, answers now for these ones all right these are a few questions here uh zarka uh, wants to know how does uh, it feel when uh, you see so many female fans flirting with you and sending you messages on twitter i love it i think it's uh, it's uh, uh, really nice uh, considering there are only guys around me <laughs> so really nice for a change women wooing me and trying to love me Uh PVN wants to know uh Burin Sopti is one of your oldest friends neighbor from childhood. Yeah. Uh do you still hang out with him? Uh I if you ever uh, find out where Burin Sopti is please back him from my side. We stay in the same building. Uh we've never met uh, uh more than uh, I think once a month and the last time I think I met him was like 2 months back because uh, either he's not in town or he just stays inside his house. Like mm. we stay like we stay in the same building. He does, and all we do is we talk to each other on the phone, and he says, "Yeah, yeah I'm coming. I'm coming to your house, bro." I'm, he is the epitome of laziness. <laughs> like, epi- like you cannot beat Barun Sopti when it comes to being lazy. <laughs> He's a sweetheart of a person. He's one of the uh, best people I've ever met in my life because I've known him since first standard. <laughs> um, uh, I'm so proud that. Uh, he's reached where he's reached and he's loved so much all over the world yeah. uh because i know how much it took me to pester him to tell him to come to bombay and start acting uh-huh. um and of course he's doing his films as well just like you are uh, have you heard about yeah. his film roles uh yes i have uh, i spoke to him like uh, i think a month back or 15 20 days back uh, and he's still shooting or something so uh he told me he's like uh, he's expecting the film to come really soon so i hope yeah his film will his film come soon theek uh lee carmen wants to know if gurmeet rithik and you were in a movie what would the film title be gurmeet rithik and me i think it has to be uh, uh something uh, called uh i think probably it will be dil chahta hai part 2 dil chahta uh, yeah. uh i guess uh, uh gurmeet uh, is probably uh, akshay khanna who's just in love mm-hmm. and who's very serious in life uh ritwik uh, is uh, i think i'll give him uh, amir khan because uh, he's also in love somehow and uh, i'll take safely because i fall in love every day so i'm happy <laughs> uh anita desi uh, wants to know um uh, how does it feel when you're asked to show your body on nach baliya it it was okay at one point in time because i had uh, the right one <laughs> so you know flaunt it till you got it mm-hmm. uh, right now when they tell me i get a really uh, i get a little uh, you know uh, oh my godish about it because i want to be uh, showing off my body when i feel i'm perfect so it's not too much of a hassle you know when i'm in shape it's it's, it's okay you know I'm okay, I'm okay with it. Still the women are drooling about it. So. <laughs> uh she also wants to know how would you feel about being in a film uh, like Dostana 2 with Ritik? I would love to do a film uh uh especially Dostana 2. I think when Dostana 2 ever comes it has to be me and him because uh, uh it's going to be a lot of fun because we've been uh, talking about it anyways <laughs> all these years. Um uh, considering Dostana uh, nobody was gay they were just acting gay. 
And uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's going to be super fun. Okay. Uh, Afi, uh, asking a good question here. That, of course, you're one of the most eligible bachelors in Tellywood, um, but yeah. uh, you never have any news about you being linked up with this artist or that artist. You're quite a good boy well, when you can stuff like that. Um, I, I'm, I, think, I, I think I'm just the bad boy who's really, really <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> no I'm, I think I've just been... Uh, uh, it's not that I've never had a girlfriend or something I've had, but I think I've, I've always, uh, uh, I always chose to keep my personal and professional life uh, separate. Even when it came to my family, uh, I think the first time ever anyone saw my dad uh, was also on Indian Idol Junior. Uh, and I didn't know he was coming there. So I've been very, uh, not secretive, but I think I've just wanted <clears throat> my family to be uh, completely left alone because... Uh, uh, I don't want them to come under any or feel the pressure of the entire stardom that you know the sun has and stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm just uh, and I've not I've never been linked with anyone, so I think it's been good. I've just been uh, a good boy on that time, on that field. That's good. Uh, Myra uh, wants to know what do you think about people when they say that you're more cute than you are hot, and she's saying that you are hot. I'm okay. I'm okay with both. Yeah. I think uh, being cute is not a curse and. Uh, uh, a lot of women like cute boys, a lot of women like hot men. So I'm okay with any of the guys till the time I'm getting one of them. And I suppose you and can uh, be a hot, cute boy, can't you? I, you know, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be more than happy if they think I am. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, uh, Karan, it has been a pleasure. You know what, I just used to have uh, a couple of uh, shout-outs here. There's one from uh, Mohawk wants to say hi and Gajal wants to say hi. They both want to say hi Hello. to you. Hellos, both of you. There you go. Uh, well, thank you, Karen, uh, for all the time. I know it's been a long interview, but uh, you did promise me a long interview, so I'm so happy that all this time that we've <laughs> no, got this. Man, anytime. All right, do you want to say hi to your fans in the uh, UK? I would just want to say uh, hello to everyone, and uh, I keep receiving all your messages, uh, especially all the UK fans, because uh, I guess uh, they're the most active people uh, when it comes to all networking sites. So thank you so much for loving uh, me uh, for all that I've done. And I promise you, I'll be there very soon. I keep getting this question from a lot of you. When am I coming? When am I coming to UK? I'll be coming as soon as possible because I really, really, really want to come. Because I've never been to UK. So I hope to be there uh, this year. Uh, And uh, whenever I am, I'll tell Raj and we can probably meet. I definitely will, Karan. You know what? I'd love you to tell me because I hear uh, Star Parivar is going to be back in May time uh, here in the UK. Uh, So I know there's a lot of talks going on with actors and also talent like yourself uh, about bringing you here. So let's see. Done deal, bro. All right. Thank you so much, Karan. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.